Hello and welcome to this video learning series of AutoCAD. So today we are going to get familiar with the user interface of AutoCAD 2020. As you can see, I have opened a new drawing file with the name Drawing 6. The tools in AutoCAD have been arranged in tabular form in the upper portion of the screen and this portion is called the ribbon. Different tools are arranged in this ribbon under different tabs and panels as per their functionality. These are the tabs. The Home tab, Insert tab, Annotate tab, Parametric tab and so on. Let me get back to the Home tab. Now these are the panels. Draw panel, Modify panel, Annotation panel, Layers panel and so on. So the tools are arranged in different panels of a particular tab. Like if we talk about the Line tool. It is available in the Draw panel of the Home tab. Similarly, if I want to locate the Dimension tool. For that, I need to go to the Annotate tab. The Dimension tool is available in the Dimensions panel of the Annotate tab. Let me get back to the Home tab again. Now, AutoCAD is a tool-based as well as a command-based software. Suppose I have to access the Line tool. I can access it either from the Draw panel of the Home tab in the ribbon by simply clicking on it. As soon as I click on the Line tool, the command line shows that Line tool has been activated as it instructs us to specify the first point for the line. So this shows that AutoCAD is a tool-based software. Let me press the escape key to escape this tool. Like I said, AutoCAD is a command-based software also. So for a particular tool, we have a particular command alias. Command alias is a kind of shortcut for a particular tool. For line tool, we have the command alias or shortcut as L. So type L in the command line. As you type L in the command line, you will find a flyout of tools starting with alphabet L. You can choose any of the required tools from this flyout. In our case, we want to activate the line tool. So we'll simply press enter after typing L in the command line and the line tool will get activated. As you can see here in the command line, it is asking for the start point of the line. For your information, this is the command line here. We can turn off the command line by simply clicking on this close button. When I click on this close button, I'll get a warning message saying that do you want to close the command line window? I'll click on the yes button. So the command line has gone from the screen. To redisplay it, what you'll do is simply press Ctrl plus 9 keys. So the command line will be redisplayed on the screen. And now you can see I opened a new drawing file and its name is getting displayed here. So these are the file tabs, the start tab, the drawing six tab. These are called the file tabs. We can control the visibility of file tabs. For that, we need to go to the view tab. And in the interface panel, you'll find a toggle button with the name file tabs. Click on it. You can see that file tabs have vanished from the screen. Now to redisplay them, again click on this button and the file tabs are redisplayed here. Next thing you can see on the top left area of the screen are these in canvas viewport controls. If I click on this area of the in canvas viewport controls, a flyout will be displayed. Using the options in this flyout, we can control the viewport configurations. We can toggle on of the visibility of view cube, steering wheels and navigation bar on the screen. Now, if I click on the top area of the in canvas viewport controls, a flyout will be displayed and using the options in this flyout, I can change the view of my drawing. Suppose I want to change the view of my drawing from top to front. So what I'll do is I'll choose the front option from this flyout. Next, if I click on 2D wireframe area of the in canvas viewport controls, a flyout will be displayed again. And using the options in this flyout, we can change the visual style of our model. Next thing, this is the drawing area where we actually draw our sketches. And these lines, horizontal and vertical lines are called the grid lines. You can toggle on of the visibility of grid lines by using the F7 key. So I turn the grid off by using the F7 key. I'll turn the grid lines on again by again pressing the F7 key. You can also control the visibility of grids by using the grid mode button 
which is available here in the status bar. This strip at the bottom is the status bar. We have different buttons in the status bar which are used to control the workability of the software. Like if I want to draw only horizontal and vertical lines, I can choose the ortho mode button from the status bar. Likewise, if I want to draw lines which are horizontal, vertical or at any angle, I can choose the polar tracking button from the status bar. Now, next thing is this view cube. Using this view cube, you can again manage the views you want to work in. Like currently, the view cube shows that we are in the top view. Suppose I want to shift to the front view. What I'll do is I'll simply click on this arrow and it will take me to the front view. I want to shift back to the top view. What I'll do is I'll click on this arrow and it will redirect me to the top view. At the top left area of the screen, we have this application menu. Click on it to display a flyout and using the options in this flyout, we can start a new drawing, open an existing drawing, save files, import and export content, publish and print our drawings and much more. Next to this application menu is the quick access toolbar. Again, it has the options to start a new drawing, open an existing drawing, save drawings. We can also customize this quick access toolbar by clicking on this down arrow. Suppose I want to display the workspace dropdown in the quick access toolbar. What I'll do is I'll simply select the workspace option from this flyout. Now you can see that the workspace dropdown is added to the quick access toolbar. You can also use the AutoCAD help by simply pressing the F1 key or clicking on this question mark icon here. As soon as you click on this question mark icon, the Autodesk AutoCAD 2020 help window appears. Now you can see this search box here. Suppose I want to know the working of line tool. So what I'll do is I'll type line in this search box and press enter. Next, I'll click on this line command thing. Now you can see all the relevant information about drawing a line is given here. Similarly, you can find the information about any tool you want using the Autodesk AutoCAD 2020 help window. I hope this video was quite knowledgeable for you and it helped you to get much familiar with the user interface of AutoCAD. Thanks for watching. See you in next session. Bye. Take care.